what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The NFL altered its policy regarding the national anthem, no longer requiring players to be on the field during the playing of the national anthem, but giving teams and owners the right to discipline players who protest during the playing of the national anthem. In other words, if you're out there on the field during the playing of the national anthem and you decide to protest in any way, especially taking a knee, you can and will be disciplined. The new policy announced on Wednesday after a two-day meeting of the league's 32 owners leaves it to individual teams to discipline players for acts deemed disrespectful during the anthem, but also gives the league wide discretion to fine teams for actions taken by players. The change is quickly met with approval from Vice President Mike Pence and skepticism from the NFL Players Association, which said it was not consulted on the changes. Now, as you know, all of this started when Colin Kaepernick, who was then a quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers, protested against police brutality by taking a knee. Check out what NFL Commissioner Roger Goodall had to say. All 32 clubs want to ensure that during the moments that the anthem is played, that is a very important moment to all of us as a league, to our personnel, and to our country. Y'all know damn well he don't give a damn about none of that. The bottom line is money, man. All of this boils down to money. If the damn anthem was so important, why did they just start playing the anthem over the last several years if it was just so damn important? Under this new policy, players may choose to remain in the locker room during the playing of the national anthem. But owners are said that those who choose to be on the sideline must stand or face punishment. Remember when the Houston Texans owner said last year that the NFL playing fields are not a place for political statements. If that's true, why on earth are they required to stand for the playing of the national anthem? Because that is political. You see, they come up with all kinds of excuses to justify whatever it is that they want to do. The NFL is all about money. And they're going to do whatever it is that they think they can get away with. I'm going to say what all of y'all are saying right now, at least what you're thinking. Most of you with sound minds are thinking. All the players have to do is not come out. Then what? You think Donald Trump going to go out there to the stadium and buy 50,000 tickets? in every city? I don't think so. All of those fans that say they're not going to support the NFL if the players don't stand, they're lying. A football fan is a football fan. I know football fans. I know real football fans. Even the ones who protested last year, boycotted last year, boy, they was hurting. And they can't wait for this thing to be over. They can't wait for it to blow over. They're real solid fans. And they don't want to give up football forever. So just like you got the fans who are going to uh, make their mental adjustments and, and deal with the fact that the players who are going to protest are just going to stay in the locker room instead of being out on the field with everybody else. Those fans who got a problem with people kneeing during the playing of the national anthem will get over it too.
it ain't like they can go into the bathroom and take a dump and it not stink. You dig what I'm saying? Someone asked me, how do I feel about the new NFL anthem policy? The NFL is trash. The owners don't get it because they don't have to live it. They're wealthy white men who would never face the threat of police brutality or racial injustice in America. But the majority of their employees face that threat every day because wealth and fame is a fragile shield when you're being targeted by your own government for marginalization. Some players decided to exercise their right to protest against state-sanctioned violence and were called son of a bitches by a son of a bitch who disrespects the office of POTUS every day. Forced patriotism is not patriotism at all. It is the exact opposite. To all you coward-ass NFL owners, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.